السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما يا رحم الرحمين We ask Allah Azza wa Jal teach us what benefit us benefit us from what he taught us and increase us in knowledge Ameen Ya Rabbi Alameen We ask Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala to make me and you from the people who listen and apply Tonight we have another JAR episode just a reminder and I thank all my brothers and sisters that are commenting that they are benefiting and some of you are even calling and uh, from all over the world Alhamdulillah Rabbi Alameen We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make all these episodes as a sadaqa jariya for all of us Ameen Ya Rabbi Alameen My brothers and sisters Yesterday, I, uh, I buried a very, very dear brother to me. And uh, subhanAllah, he was even younger than me. And uh, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have mercy on him and make his grave uh, a garden from Jannah. And all our deceased brothers and sisters and parents, ameen, ya rabbil alameen. So when I was there, I looked at that uh, grave and how tight it is and how dark it will be and Allahu alam how hot or how cold and I felt like I want to remind myself and remind my beloved brothers and sisters of what can we do to protect ourselves from the punishment of the grave what are the amal what are the actions that Rasulullah told us uh, that they would protect us from the punishment of the grave of course before we mention uh, all these actions, we have to remember that the person have to be a, a mu'min, have to be a person who is fulfilling the obligation first. Uh, a person who is doing what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking him to do from the salat and the fasting of Ramadan and he's giving the, the zakat that is due and if he was capable or she was capable of going to hajj, they have already done their hajj and all that and then these things will apply inshallah ta'ala. So we do not say that uh, if somebody does not do this or somebody this happened to him he's definitely punished uh, he's definitely saved from the punishment of the grave okay so number one and of course as usual all the hadith i would be narrating are authentic rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said any muslim any muslim who dies on a friday or friday night yani the thursday night what we call now thursday night he will be protected by Allah from the uh, testing, the fitna of the qabr, from the testing of the grave. So uh, if someone, like we said, fulfilling the obligations and he or she died on Thursday night, which is Islamically Friday night, or Friday during the day till Maghrib, that's a, inshallah ta'ala, an indication that this person will be saved from the punishment of, of the grave. Second, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, he who dies of an internal trouble, يعني, an abdomen uh, disease, uh, cancer in the stomach, uh, some kind of internal uh, uh, sickness, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, he or she will be saved from the punishment of, of the grave. Third, al-murabit. What does murabit mean? Murabit is the person who is stationed at uh, the border of a Muslim country, defending that country from the enemy. Okay, he's on the border of a Muslim country, and there's an enemy on the other side, and he is uh, uh, stationed there uh, with their weapons, and they are watching all night, and they take turns between day and night between each other to protect the Muslims uh, in that country. It is called Murabit. Rasulullah sallallahu said, being stationed for a day and night uh, on the frontier in Allah's path is better than fasting for a month and making tahajjud for a month. Allahu Akbar. And at the end of the hadith, it says, uh, or another hadith, it says that he will be saved from the punishment of, of the grave. Fourth, a shaheed. If somebody died as a shaheed, 
you know, we all know that the shaheed will have many, many rewards in the akhirah, okay? Uh, and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that there are different kinds of people that will deserve the name of a shaheed. The one who dies, if a building fell on them, he will be considered shaheed. A person who died uh, uh, burned will be considered a shaheed. If somebody drowned, will be considered a shaheed. If a, a woman died while she's delivering, will be considered a shaheed. If somebody died from the plague, it will be considered a shaheed. So the shaheed also, one of the rewards of the shaheed is that he or she will be saved from the punishment of the grave. Number five is staying away from what Rasulullah told us that it will lead to the punishment of the grave. For example, the famous hadith that we all know that Rasulullah passed by a grave and he said that those two people in the grave, they will be, they are being punished. They are being punished and they thought that what they used to do, something simple. One of them did not, used not to clean themselves after urinating. Hmm? And the other used to spread namima. What is namima? Be very careful, my brothers and sisters. Namima is to go to brother uh, A and to tell him, do you know what brother B said about you? Do you know, you go to brother, sister A, and you tell her, do you know what sister B said about you? And you start creating fitna between two people. That is called namima. That is called namima. And that brings the punishment of the grave. Staying away from namima, cleaning ourselves after uh, urinating, that will protect us from the punishment of the grave. Uh, also, to stay away from not praying, not praying, bring the punishment of the grave. Uh, fasting, uh, breaking uh, a fast without any valid reason in Ramadan, uh, not fasting a day in Ramadan for not for no valid excuse, also will, uh, will bring the punishment of the grave. Staying away from all these things will also save us from the punishment of the grave. Number six, reciting frequently Surat al-Mulk. Surat al-Mulk, reciting it, living it, applying it, will protect us from the punishment of the grave. And there's authentic hadith that Rasulullah told us that it will also intercede for us on the day of judgment. And Rasulullah used to recite it at night. Okay, but the, 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 the uh, reciting it uh, to, to, to protect from the punishment of the grave did not indicate day or night. Finally, my brothers and sisters, to protect ourselves from the punishment of the grave, ask Allah Azzawajal, make dua. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to make a dua every morning. Allahumma aafini fi badani, Allahumma aafini fi basari, Allahumma aafini fi sami, la ilaha illa ant. اللهم إني أعوذ بك من الكفر والفقر وأعوذ بك من عذاب القبر لا إله إلا أنت. So Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم used to seek refuge from the punishment of the grave. So why don't we ask Allah, يا الله اللهم إني أعوذ بك من عذاب القبر. يا الله save us from the punishment of the grave. يا الله make our grave جنة. يا الله give us and make us from the people who are steadfast when they are being questioned on the grave in the grave. So Asking Allah Azza wa Jal to protect us from the punishment of the grave is also one of the ways to be saved from the punishment of the grave. So my brothers and sisters, these are some of the methods, uh, around seven methods uh, or ways in order to save ourselves from the punishment of the grave. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to protect us and our uh, spouses and our children and our parents and the people we love and the people who love us from the punishment of the grave. Because... The grave is the first stage of the akhirah. If the stage of the, of the grave, the life in the grave is good, then what follows is better. And if the life in the grave is bad, what, what follows will be worse. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make my grave and your grave a jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the punishment of the grave and the punishment of the hellfire. May Allah make our last deeds, our best deeds, and make our last words. لا إله إلا الله جزاكم الله خير سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك I love you all for the sake of Allah
ഹരജുറി 